All right, in this video, we're gonna be looking at how to clean a four cycle carburetor. This particular carburetor that we're gonna be looking at today came off of a Briggs & Stratton uh, four stroke cycle engine. However, most of your carburetors are gonna be very similar to each other. Whether it's a Honda, whether it's a, a Kohler, Kawasaki, um, even a uh, some of the other Briggs & Stratton models, uh, we're talking, you know, things that you commonly find on your uh, push mowers, your pressure washers, uh, your tillers, something like that uh, is going to be almost identical to how you take them apart and how you clean them. One little trick I'll share with you before we start taking this carburetor apart is something that I was uh, taught when I was uh, doing some of my training for a small engine mechanic. A quick way that you can figure out if your carburetor is stopped up is if you'll look, you'll have the fuel inlet uh, valve here where your uh, fuel hose will hook up. If you want to figure out if uh, it is stopped up because of the ethanol in your fuel or some reason it's clogged, one of the easiest ways to do that, if you're holding your carburetor in the upright position, the way that it should be mounted to your engine, you should be able to blow into this outlet here. Uh, this is a brand new carburetor, but if it is one that has been used, make sure that you wipe the exterior for any of the gasoline that may be on it. But if you blow into this inlet valve, the air should be able to pass through. So in this bowl, there is a float uh, where the gasoline comes in through this valve, uh, goes through a little needle release valve inside, and it fills this bowl up with your fuel. Once the float, uh, it rises on the, the level of the fuel and then shuts off this valve. Uh, so with it sitting upright, if there's no gasoline in your bowl, you should be able to blow through this uh, and the air simulating the gasoline should be able to pass through uh, into the bowl. Uh, and so you might be able to hear uh, me do that here. So I was able to blow through so I know it's not clogged. Um, most of the times if you're having problems with a uh, engine that's not starting that's been sitting up for a while and you think you may clean the have to clean the carburetor uh, that's not a 100 percent um, you know quick test but if you can't blow through it you know that there's definitely issues uh, so now we're going to uh, to kind of simulate what it would be uh, if it's working properly or if it's filled up if i flip this upside down this should now simulate uh, what would happen when my float uh, is pushed up to the top because it's full of fuel. Uh, so I turn this upside down. I should not be able to blow through it now. And you can see that nothing was able to pass through. So my float is working properly uh, as it should. It's brand new. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to take this apart. If you have to clean a four-stroke cycle um, carburetor on one of your engines, uh, if you can follow this video, you can clean just about any carburetor uh, that you need to. All right, so we've got the video adjusted down now where you can see. Uh, so there's not a whole lot of different things. Be sure when you're taking apart the carburetor that you make sure uh, that you remember how all your linkages uh, hook up. Uh, depending on the model you have, you're going to have your uh, governor linkage and your choke uh, that will hook into uh, your throttle linkage and everything will hook up on these. So make sure that when you take that off of your engine that you remember how they go back on. Once you have it off, um, pretty much the only thing you're going to have to remove is this bowl. Um, and so you'll need a socket uh, to remove this. Most of these are uh, half inch or uh, 13 millimeter. And so... Take this out. Make sure that you don't lose the gasket that goes on this as well. Um, and then we're gonna kinda clean some of the different ports. So as you can see, hopefully here, there's a small hole on some models of these uh, and a hole in the top. You'll just want to use some regular carb cleaner uh, to clean you know, through that. So once you take it off, this is the float I was referring to. So as you can see, if you hold it this way, the float comes down and then as the fuel rises, the float will fill back up. So if you're following the flow of your fuel, fuel comes in through your fuel line here. And then in this particular area is your needle valve. So we're gonna disassemble that. You'll have a short metal shaft here that will slide out uh, if it's been used and it may be a little harder to pull out. A pair of needle nose pliers usually gets it fairly easy. So this piece will come out, make sure you don't lose that. And then you should be able to pick up your float 
and here is your needle valve hooked underneath your float. Uh, unless you just have a really old carburetor, all of the new carburetors are gonna have a rubber tip on your needle and it will be a metal seat that it seats down into, as you can see right here. So if it's an old carburetor, it may have a rubber washer in the bottom of there with a metal needle. So once we have that taken out, a four stroke carburetor, that's all of your internal components. So now if you take carb cleaner and were to blow it into this fuel valve right here, it should come out of this port, the smaller one right here, very easily. Now that you know that nothing's clogged. You should then be able to spray carb cleaner into the center port, the tall one sticking up right here, and you should see fuel come up in the center of your carburetor. Once you get to this point, you can basically take carb cleaner and any of your little holes, blow carb cleaner through it, and that's gonna blow out any trash that may be clogging it up. Most of the time, your issues that come with a four stroke carburetor is going to be dealing with the sticking of this float. These components get stuck in there when the ethanol fuel begins to decompose and break down and it's gonna get gummy and sticky and cause these parts to stick. So when you get ready to replace it, you're going to slide this needle valve right back on the, the float. So you can see the components right there. This slides back in so that it is suspended. And then I'm going to sit this down with my needle valve back down into the hole. Once I do that, I return my pin back into the appropriate place. And this should be back in the same working condition as before. So everything's cleaned out now. You should now, if you haven't uh, tested it before, you should be able to blow into the port now. Uh, air will pass through freely. When you pick up the float, it should close off the air and you should not be able to blow through anything right now. So once you have all of those completed, You'll reassemble the cap. Make sure that you tighten this down so that you don't have fuel leaking. If fuel leaks out of this bottom one and you've got it as tight as you can get it, um, then it's you're going to need a new gasket or seal to go on the bottom. So we'll crank that back up. And that should be everything that you need to know to clean out a four-cycle carburetor. All right, guys, we appreciate you uh, tuning in and checking out the video about cleaning out a carburetor on a four-stroke cycle engine. Uh, hopefully this was helpful and you were able to uh, figure out uh, how to get your carburetor cleaned if you've got any issues. So again, this was on a Briggs & Stratton um, engine, but all of our engines that are four-stroke uh, engines is going to have a carburetor that's going to be very, very similar as the way uh, that you would clean it. Uh, if you've got a push mower, a, a power washer, a tiller, uh, different pieces of equipment like that that have set up over uh, winter or set up for a long period of time before use, uh, if you will take it apart as I showed you and clean it out, then you should be back up and, and running. If you have any gaskets that are damaged um, or are torn, you'll probably have to replace the gaskets. And what I found is it's just as cheap to buy a brand new carburetor as it is trying to buy all the gaskets and fixing it. Uh, if the video was helpful and you were able to uh, use it, uh, please subscribe. Uh, as the channel suggests, we cover a, a range of topics and hope that um, some of the videos will be useful for you.